We all know that children love to play and will often create stories within their play. That's because play is a very safe environment for young children when they can explore areas of the world that both excite them and concern them. What? You're going to be the Red Ranger and you're going to be Batman. But what can you as a practitioner learn from watching children at play? Well, observing play provides a good starting point in gaining an understanding of where children are in their learning, as well as helping you to understand what the children's interests might be. In this programme, we're going to be looking at how we can value children's play, what to look out for, and how we can use the observations to extend their learning. We're off to the reception unit at Astwood Bank First School in Worcestershire to see how they support and value play with young children. I'm going to listen to you do this because you might have some different action sounds to me. Chris, the head teacher, is currently working alongside Joe in the reception unit. Joe previously taught in year four at the school. This year she's become a teacher in the reception class and so is experiencing firsthand the issues and questions practitioners can face in supporting young children's play. I did find it very difficult when I first moved to reception to actually see the benefits of play, but I think actually listening to the varied vocabulary and the amount the children were getting out of the play, that sort of changed my mind, really. Do you think crabs would go well with spiders? Over the years, we've realised that play is absolutely fundamental for children to access as part of their learning, they can explore their ideas, their feelings. <laughs> Diane Rich from the Early Years Workshop team has gone along to see what they get up to. Diane's going to be observing and we're going to see what she sees. And during the activity, she'll help guide you through the different ways children are playing out their stories. Some children like to use props as they play. These children use puppets a lot and they're used to making up stories with them. And the sheep said, we will only let you go if you don't give us three questions. What is it then? What is the name of a girl on Big Brother? Nikki. Nicky! <laughs> when children play, they use their experiences of the world. For some children, this is television. Lazy town. Yeah! Lazy town. Lazy town! Yes! That was correct. I can only let you go if you give me one more question. What is it? Do you know uh, what's the scariest Doctor Who in the Doctor Who? Oh, I know, I know, I know! I know. Oh. It's the one when he has all the faces around his body. Is that the scariest one? No! Joe is part of the puppet show audience. She is catching the children's stories. Yeah! Look at my book! Okay. You're yeah. right! Yeah. 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 But... One more question. The children know that they're not going to get told off for playing, that they can actually go and do that. That is what we would like them to do and that's what they're encouraged to do. And we say that is how they learn and that it is important for them to go and explore. This reception class is set up for play all day, indoors and out. Their practitioners are really committed to children learning through play in a variety of ways. I can see you. I can see you. The children are allowed to follow their own interests. Children's play themes and the stories that emerge can show what they know about to the limits of their knowledge. Play can show what they're anxious about and the big issues they're trying to deal with. 
do allow the superhero play because that's what they enjoy and that's part of their world. In actual fact, they explore a lot of the major issues that concern them th through their lives, through that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Killing always comes up and I don't think we need to sweep it under the carpet. We need to just run with the children and let them explore it. <laughs> and then Barney was dead. And then the police told him so far. Belle has taken her role as a scientist seriously. Playing on her own, she's intensely involved in her world, searching for bugs. Oh, cool! What? I found a yellow spider. Oh, yeah. Children do need an opportunity to work in the way that suits them and some children like to work on their own and I think giving them the freedom to start in the way in which they're comfortable and to naturally develop those skills, obviously with adult encouragement and uh, just give them the space and time to find their own ways through. It's not just Belle. Several children in the class are interested in insects. One boy explores what would happen if a spider came to a cafe. Knock, knock. I'm the health inspector, and I've had a report from somebody telling me you've got a spider in your cafe. <laughs> My goodness, what are you going to do? Chris acts as a model player, and she's catching children's stories as she joins in. What always surprises me is once you start to engage with children in their play, they're very often not operating at the level that you would think when you were doing your planning. Yeah. Is this on our menu? Yeah. Spid spider yeah. stew? Yeah. It is. Well, it's a very new menu. Do tell me, how do we, how do we make spider stew in this cafe? In fact, it's far more effective if I use their enjoyment of play uh, as a means of communication. Do we want anything else with the tomatoes? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll have a portion of spider stew and potatoes, please, if I may, with your very special recipe. I need to go to school, I'm late. Oh, yeah, Shelby, you, you need to go to school. Come on. Let, let me try for a time. They're, they're walking. Some children choose to play with small world resources and often recreate familiar domestic themes, making sense of their immediate world. Other children like to transport resources to the place they like to play. It's important to provide big, medium and small play opportunities. I just see the children in a completely different light when you're watching them through play. Children who wouldn't necessarily share in a more formal situation show their knowledge through role play. Yeah. I'm going to have you back, please, if I get a kick. 
you get free I can see a We learn best when we're enjoying ourselves, and that goes for children, adults, whoever. Why not take the, the most effective route, the most pleasurable route? What we're going to do is pass around David Dog. I'd like you to tell me what you've been doing. At the end of the lesson, we actually share, actually get the children to discuss what they've actually been doing. Thank you. I dressed up outside. Did you? And what were you when you were dressed up? Um, a princess. <gasps> Olivia was the maid. The maid? Jordan was the baby. Right. And Thomas was the boy that shoots the boys that are mean. Really? Did it have a happy ending or a sad one? A happy one. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. I wouldn't like to have dinner on an unhappy ending. Thank you very much. I went and I played Batman baby. 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 You Batman. were Batman. Baby Batman. Do we have baby Batman? <laughs> Do we? And once and once I was the daddy Batman. And you were the daddy Batman. If any adult in the classroom has observed some good play, then we would comment on that. Are you going to tell us? Yes. I've been watching a puppet show, oh. which was fantastic, and we had some really nice stories. And I've also watched people out in the garden. Wow. And some people exploring for mini beasts as well. So I've had a lovely one. I think we respect their play. I think we demonstrate that, we model mm. that and so in our feedback sessions we expect all the children to also pay equal respect to each mm. other's responses mm. and play opportunities. The way we respond to it, it shows how we value it. Did you play with the shadow puppets? That's lovely. And did you make up a story? Batman Baby. Batman Babies. It seems, as if, it seems as if the Batman Babies was a very popular story. Superheroes, scientists, princesses. What a busy day for the children at Astrid Bank. It's great that the children have been given time and space for play. And by allowing these play opportunities, the children have had the chance to act out and develop their stories. This play is crucial as a child's starting point for story making. And at Aswood Bank, the practitioners clearly show the children that their play is valued. They've started with the children and used their interests as stimulus for their learning. Join us in the second programme when we'll be talking about just what the children were learning and how practitioners can build on this play. Goodbye.